So I wanted to review headphones that I've used based on comfort, number one, and sound. The Bose Sound Support Wireless were my first wireless headphones. And these have been the most comfortable headphones I've used uh, thus far. Like there's no other headphones that has come close. Um, the second closest comfortable headphones actually were the AirPods. Um, these are the second generation um, AirPods, the newest ones. And they're very comfortable as well, but not as comfortable as the Bose. Um, after that, I bought the Jaybird Run XT. And these are, I think these are the ones that sound the best to me. These are the best sounds, sound very good. Um, and then I've also tried the Anchor Liberty Air 2. Um, and phones with these two, with the Jaybird and the Anchor, the headphones, basically what they do is they create a seal in your ears and that will um, allow sound not to escape and it uh, kind of dampens a little bit of the outside noise um and that's unfortunately that's something that i don't like because i want to be able to hear my surroundings uh, i use these headphones uh, that were great for work because i can have them on low volume listen to podcasts to listen to music and i can still hear my surroundings but once it comes to exercise they fall off they're not secure there's no way to adjust there's no tips on them it's just basically one size fits all that's what it is they're comfortable and really what makes them comfortable is that they have um they don't create pressure in your ears when you put them in your ear so this this is a, a vent here um and really what it does, it doesn't create that pressure and it's uh, very comfortable to wear. Um, but then you have the drawback of them not put when you exercise. The Jaybirds, I think these, uh, these sound better than the, um, the Anchor. They sound very good. Uh, but again, same problem. Jam this into your ear and you have that pressure be uncomfortable um, when you wear them for a long time but these for working out have been my favorite you don't have the wires which you did with the sound sport and they stay on they sound great uh, but the only problem is that they um, they will create that pressure and you can't really hear your surroundings it doesn't have the option to do a bypass sound the these were like the, my least favorite uh, because they really don't stay on they don't have that wing tip and they kind of pop out i've tried it comes with different buds or i guess bud attachment i don't know if that's what you call it that thing there and uh yeah they're not they're not very comfortable so every everyone's ears are very different of course um the good thing about these is that actually i own this pair which i haven't used in a long time now I own the Jaybirds, so the Bose and the Jaybirds, and I actually bought these recently just to try them out to see if I can find something that I can use for work. These are definitely not worth, for me, $150, which were on sale from $160, uh, tax not included. So these are not worth it for me. The sound is not all that great. I mean, it's good. It's decent. These sound the best, along with the Bose, I think, after that. Um... So yeah, as far as comfort, the Bose are by far the most comfortable ones. Now they have the wireless one without the wire. Um, and these are, I think, two years old, maybe. I don't know. You can see they're falling apart. Battery drains fast now. And that is something that, is something that you do have to consider. If you buy something that's $150, um, the battery will deteriorate over time because you can only charge it so many times. Um, but these have been the most comfortable one. After that, the the uh, Apple AirPods. Uh, the best sounding, definitely, it's between the Bose 
and the jaybirds. So there you have it.